Beach, Florida, home to Hangster's Hot Rods Muscle Car and Collector Car Showroom, where we own all of our vehicles. We are not a consignment dealership. If you're watching today's presentation on YouTube, please be sure to check out our website, which is hangsters.com. It's where you can find all of our most current inventory. Our YouTube videos that are on our channel, we never take down. We leave them up whether they were shot three days ago or three years ago. Our viewers of our channel uh, enjoy watching our content, so we leave it up there to so we can show what kind of quality and quantity of vehicle we move through our showrooms each month, each year. When a vehicle is funded in full, it comes down off of our website letting you know it's been sold and is no longer available. Hangstersgarage.com. At the top of our website, there is a gray bar. There is a little tap tag there that says garage. That'll take you to hangstersgarage.com. But you can also visit the actual site. We sell and distribute automotive parts and accessories all over the United States. We also install them. So if you're watching one of our video presentations and you're interested in vintage air, we can do that. If you're interested in disc brakes, power steering, different wheels and tires, digital dash, um, you know, any, any of that kind of stuff. We have lift kits for trucks and Jeeps, running boards, different bumper packages, all kinds of cool stuff. So check it out. Uh, if you're local to us here, it's on South Ridgewood, 2385 South Ridgewood. It's about three miles from our showroom here on Nova. And of course, if you're not local to us and you're checking us out online, hangstersgarage.com. Cool car today. Um, <coughs> I field a lot of phone calls and a lot of emails. And it's always, what can you tell me about the car? Do you have any documentation? When was the car painted? When was the engine rebuilt? You know. Uh, we all want to know that. We always disclose in our video presentations and our phone conversations what we know about the vehicle. This particular unit has a ton of documentation and we'll show you that today. We are fortunate enough living in Daytona here. There's a lot of, uh, you know, people have second homes here, retirees here. Uh, this particular car belonged to a gentleman that visits our showroom, uh, took great pride in his car, very well cared for, uh, nice unit, so let's check it out. 1964 Ford Falcon. Uh, it has a 302 in it, a blue point, uh, I'm sorry, a blueprint 302 um, that has about 10,000 miles on it. And I know that because it's documented. I will show you here in a couple minutes. Uh, no power steering, no power brakes, no AC. So very uh, basic uh, run-of-the-mill 1964 Ford Falcon. Let's check it out. Uh, I'm not sure of the color name or if it's a factory color. I would imagine that it is. Um, however, it's like a, a teal blue color, very cool uh, look to it, especially down here in Florida. The uh, car has a, a great color combination, being the uh, uh, blue exterior and the white interior. So, uh, paint, top of the fenders, uh, top of the hood, looks pretty good. <clears throat> there are a couple uh, areas here that were brush touched. Hood ornaments in pretty good shape, uh, not pitted, corroded. Uh, you do have your forward badging there across the front of the uh, hood. The grill very well could be original. Uh, very cool look. Uh, it does have some, uh, you know, signs of age. However, it's in really nice condition. Um, so it gives the car a real nice look. Front bumper looks to be newer. Um, I, <coughs> I told you I have a lot of documentation for this car. Um, I didn't go through every last receipt and every last uh, purchase that was made. But a lot of new parts on this car. Uh, I do have a 260 badge on the uh, driver's side front fender, probably what came with the car uh, when it was new. Uh, however, that is not what's in it now. <coughs> Futura badge there, Falcon Futura uh, on the driver's side front fender. Uh, not only does the chrome look good on the car, but the uh, paint does as well. So check out the front of the fender, low in front of the tire. The uh, paint in the rear of the uh, front wheel, front tire. Nothing's blistered, nothing's cracked, car's very nice. Uh, five star aftermarket wheels, radial tires. <clears throat> Check out that uh, body line. I mean, the, uh, I guess, the design of the, uh, the, the side of the car. Very cool how it's uh, caved in there. Uh, got the uh, aluminum molding that runs the length of the car and uh, is in very good condition. Runs the driver's fender, driver's door, rear quarter, uh, both on the driver and passenger side. Very cool stuff. 
The uh, front windshield has a very, very, very slight chip right there. Uh, it's not cracked. It's barely noticeable from <clears throat> from two feet away. You won't even see it, but if you get right up close like I am, you will be able to see that. Uh, front windshield is encompassed by uh, chrome molding that is in good shape. And there is a uh, black rubber gasket underneath that molding. That's in great condition as well. Not dry rotted, not cracked up. The car does have dual mirrors, one on the driver door, one on the passenger door. <clears throat> How about the chrome molding that encompasses the quarter window, the driver door glass, and the uh, vent window? Everything looks to be in good shape here. The uh, chrome molding that uh, goes all the way to the drop down on the rear quarter and uh, starts out at the front windshield. All of your chrome around your vent window, around your uh, two uh, other windows looks to be in, in nice shape. Uh, door handle in good condition. <clears throat> no issues on the lower door as far as blistering, cracking, um, bubbling. All the paint on the driver door is real nice. Okay, interior. Uh, when you're dealing with white interior on an older car, it's always uh, you know a bit of a challenge sometimes. But uh, this one's in pretty good shape. You do have some slight discoloration on the uh, door panel from uh, age and on the armrest but overall none of the interior needs to be replaced it, it, it's overall in really nice condition Futura uh, badge there uh, above the uh, door handle um, manual windows of course let's take a look in the back seat um, the uh, seats are, are in real nice shape again uh, there is slight discoloration uh, very very minimal though it's it, Overall, real nice condition in, in the uh, interior of this car. Headliners in, in good shape, white, just like the, uh, the seats. Uh, the black carpet gives the uh, car a great offset inside. Uh, underneath the uh, carpeting, or I'm sorry, under the carpeting underneath the floor mat, you know, in good condition, not stained, discolored, ripped. Floor mats in good shape. They're just your run-of-the-mill uh, regular parts store mats. Whoops, seat belts rolling out on <coughs> out the door there. Front seat belts, no seat belts in the rear. Um, the, again, carpeting underneath the floor mat in nice condition. You have that uh, rubber pad there. And then, of course, your uh, regular carpeting around the uh, driver and passenger's uh, front seats there. Center uh, console, I'm sorry, center shifter in the floor, a little console there. Uh, automatic car. Do have aftermarket gauges mounted, uh, fuel gauge. Uh, steering wheel is in pretty good shape. It does have uh, some, you know, patina up there. I guess you would call it a little wear and tear where the, your, your hands go when you're steering, obviously. But overall, in pretty good shape. <clears throat> Not cracked or anything. <clears throat> Body lines on the car are really nice. Uh, if you look down the side of this car, I'm not sure how uh, good you can see it in the video presentation, but I am standing here personally. And I can tell you that the rear quarters aren't wavy, the driver door's not wavy, the uh, you know front fender, everything lines up nice and straight. Uh, it's a pretty straight car. Glass clarity on the rear window is in pretty good condition. Uh, chrome uh, in the rear window and the uh, rear window gasket, same as the front. You know, you have this black gasket inside. A lot of times on older vehicles, what happens with the gasket is, you know, it'll it'll dry out, uh, get brittle over time, and it'll all crack in there. This one's not. It's nice. Uh, rubber is in good shape. Your hat rack back there, top of the seats, uh, nothing's discolored. Hat rack's not all warped. Deck lid fits to the rear quarters pretty good. You have your uh, Falcon badging there on the deck lid. Uh, fuel cap in the center, of course your uh, brake lights, your uh, not heavily patinaed around there. <clears throat> Chrome tips coming out the uh, bottom of the car underneath the uh, bumper there. The uh, rear bumper about the same as the front bumper. Uh, again, the chrome's real nice, no pitting, no flaking. Uh, they not rusted around the bumper bolts. In the trunk, you do have a uh, donut spare, you have a jack, a little breaker bar. So this is the book that you will get with the car, 1964 Falcon. So let me uh, show you this thing. 
okay? Just a little classic car book we'll leave in there. 1964 Ford Falcon. Uh, we'll get to the good stuff. So here's basically a breakdown. Okay, total purchase expenses, 14000 some change. Parts, labor, maintenance. Um, the, the part you would probably be interested in. Total mileage since engine replacement. March of 2018 is when the motor was in. This car is in Florida, so you know it's got 10,000 miles on it because it's a Florida car, so you can drive it 12 months out of the year. So you can put a little more mileage on this car than you know those of you up north that have it in storage You know when it's, the snow's flying and when the roads are nasty. Four new tires, June of 2019. So you have that there as well. You literally have a parts breakdown year after year, you know, 2014, 2015, 2016, you know, very well documented. So all that comes with the car, a little, you know, a little history on the Falcon, original advertisements and whatnot. But it's broken down, engine, carburetor, distributor, fuel tank, suspension, brake, I mean, very cool stuff. So this book will come with the car. Not many people do this, and they should. Um, not only is it cool to pass along to the next owner, uh, but it also helps the resale value. All right, let's look at that passenger side. Same deal, body lines are fantastic, rear quarter's not wavy, it's not full mud, the passenger side door lines up nice and straight, you got that cool uh, large flying V body molding down the side, you know, probably why they call it the fal you know, Falcon, looks like a big flying wing there. Uh, the chrome is real nice on the uh, body moldings on the side of the car. Chrome is nice around your uh, window closures here on your driver door, uh, rear quarter window, vent window. Chrome's nice on the uh, uh, mirror, you know, the rear view mirror mounted on the uh, passenger door here. See, look at the door fitment. It lines up perfectly with the, well, I never use perfectly because then you guys hold me to the cross for perfect, but you know, that's the best you get on a uh, 1964 vehicle. I mean, the, the door fitment to the uh, lower rocker, to the rear quarter, to the front fender, all your gaps are uniform. It's a, it's a nice, uh, nice straight car. <clears throat> Passenger door, much of the same, you know, the... Uh, a little bit of, I don't know if you can see it in the video, it's very faint, They're, you know, your typical yellow discoloration on your white uh, older vehicles, but uh, nonetheless, look, at the door panel's not all warped, uh, your armrest again, a little discolored, but it's not ripped, seat belt's in good shape, your bench seat's in good condition, it was originally a column shift car, you'll see that in the test drive presentation. Future on the uh, passenger side front fender there, low under the body line. Again, ignore that 260 like it's not even there because that's not what's in it. On your classic cars, if there are uh, structural integrity issues with the car, they usually show low, you know, in terms of uh, Bondo coming out of the paint that was uh, subpar body work or, you know, uh, blistering cracking of the metal where maybe it wasn't prepped properly before paint. But uh, the car's nice down low. car has nice paint on it. <clears throat> it's a driver quality car. But uh, again, as I stated when I started this video presentation, it's a cool car. You know, uh, it's an inexpensive uh, classic car. Something that you have, it's heavily documented from the motor to the tires to the, you know, every pretty much last part that's been hung on this car probably since 2014, 2015. Uh, it, it, it rides real nice, fires right up. Everything uh, works as it should. <clears throat> cool stuff. I like this car, um, but I invite you guys to visit us in person to check it out for yourself if you're interested in it. We will let you pull it outside, uh, check the paint out in the sunshine real good. We'll put it up in the air for you. You can check out the undercarriage. We will let you test drive it. You see how the uh, car performs. You know, this car has no power steering, no power brakes. Again, I drive these cars all the time, but uh, maybe you... It's been a long time since you drove a non-power steering, non-power brake car. So uh, you might want to visit us and check it out and make sure you're going to be comfortable in it uh, when you uh, take delivery of it. We have been in the business of selling classic cars for over 20 years. We do a lot of sight unseen business. However, you know, we do definitely encourage you, especially if this is your first classic car purchase, visit our showroom in person. We'll show you the car in, in its entirety. 
We will show you our entire showroom here in Daytona, um, our entire inventory, our business operation, explain to you the, uh, you know, some of the responsibilities and uh, some of the expectations that come with owning a classic car. Uh, we enjoy doing that and we'll do it for you uh, when you visit us here in Daytona. I'm a sight unseen buyer. I don't go to stores, I don't go to dealerships. You know, I like doing, uh, you know, I, I work a lot. I, I like doing business from the computer, having stuff delivered to my home, you know, but if your, uh, you know, expectations of a classic car are that of a, a 2023, you know, you might want to pay us a visit so we can kind of show you the car in person and, you know, that way when the car shows up, you know exactly what you're getting, exactly what's arriving because you were here and you went over it in person. It's a beautiful Friday here in Daytona Beach. We're going to take the thing outside. Uh, throw it in the air and check out the undercarriage, and then we'll do a short little test drive presentation and show you how the car runs out. Underneath our 64 Falcon, uh, you're looking at the bottom of that uh, 302 that we told you was uh, pretty much, well, I won't use the word brand new, but it's, it's a relatively new motor, 2018. Um, front disc brakes. The oil pan, by the way, you can see it. You know, this is one of the few cars you can actually see. You know, there's no cross member in the way. You can see the entire oil pan. It's nice and dry. All the bolts look good. Gasket looks good. Moving our way back, uh, frame rails look to be in good condition. Little tiny tranny pan on this car, but everything looks to be dry at this time. Your problematic areas on your tranny pan are, or on your transmission, rather, I should say. Uh, transmission pan which is dry at this time, your speedo cable and then your tail shaft seal. Everything looks to be good. Like I showed you earlier in the showroom, that extensive list of parts. There's a lot of new parts on this car. Um, floor pans look good. Uh, all solid. It looks like, you know, possibly here there could have been, uh, you know, a partial pan put in. But, uh, you know, when you're looking for uh, issues with uh, floor pans, structural issues with cars, you know, you're looking is it half-assed on? Is it you know? Is there a patch there? You no, know, the undercarriage of this car, the floor pans are all in real nice, nice condition. They're all solid. There's no pinholes, no rust holes. You've got a cross member here supporting the transmission up. To, you know, brand new. Uh, exhaust looks to be in good shape. I don't see any uh, rust holes, pinholes in the exhaust. Uh, continuing back, you know, floor pans here above the. Uh, Mufflers in good shape. Uh, your mufflers are small, uh, but again, I don't see any any holes in the exhaust system whatsoever. Uh, you got drum brakes in the rear. Uh, we showed you in the showroom the uh, tires have approximately 7,000 miles and some change on them. Uh, your uh, rear uh, engine or compartment here, where your uh, rear seat will meet your uh, trunk pan, looks good. Driver's side. Uh, frame rail is in nice condition. Same thing with the passenger side. Real, real nice shape. Uh, gas tank looks a little newer here. Again, that uh, is probably uh, documented in that uh, parts book that we showed you earlier that will come with the car. Uh, tread depth on the tires in nice shape as well as the, uh, uh, you know, uh, rubber. You know, it's not dry rod, not cracked in between your tread there. Uh, chrome tips on the exhaust system. Pretty nice looking little ride. We're gonna set it down on the ground, we're gonna take it on a test drive and show you how it runs out. Before we do that, we're gonna discuss the payment options with you real fast. Uh, if you are a cash buyer, we'll still take cash if you're coming to visit us here in Daytona. From time to time, we still do have people bring us cash. Uh, most common forms of payment are usually uh, cashier's check from your bank, and even more common than that is bank wire, simply because it puts the funds there the same day and we can start processing your vehicle for shipment that much sooner. If you're financing, the collector car lenders we work with will do five to 10 year loans on our cars. 10% down minimum, so if you're talking about a $30,000 car, you're talking about three grand down on a pocket. The remaining balance is gonna be over that five to 10 year period, whatever you get approved for. Approvals are based on credit score, of course, time on a job, time at your residence, price of the car, you know, all that debt to income ratio. So uh, once you fill out the credit application on our website, the lender will reach out to you directly to discuss your approval. If you like what you hear, you call us, give us a deposit, we'll move forward. Once the vehicle is funded in full, the car goes through a pre-delivery inspection process. We deal in old cars. I've said that several times throughout this presentation. Anything can stop 
anything can start leaking, anything can stop working at any time. So we give it one last shakedown prior to the vehicle leaving our facility and heading your direction. Once the guys green light it, we uh, call a carrier for pickup. Generally, we can have a truck here within 24 to 48 hours. It just depends on where you're located in the United States, if there's any holidays that fall in that week, what the weather conditions are, um, you know, things of that nature. But the whole process works a lot faster than anything. Once we're paid, it goes through inspection, it goes through detail, it uh, gets dispatched to a carrier if we are handling the shipping, and it's on its way to you. Of course, if you're the one handling, handling the shipping, you're either picking the car up or you have your own shipping uh, company you're working with, we'll let you know when it's ready and you can send it forward or come get it. Let's set this 64 Falcon down on the ground. We'll take it out on a test drive and show you guys how the car runs out. All right, inside our Falcon. Horn. Uh, wipers. Uh, turn signals. Driver. Passenger. Um, fuel gauge. You guys might see in the photos that there is no external fuel gauge in the photos. We had to mount one because the one in the dash is, it wants to work sometimes and doesn't want to others. And uh, it's a big process to try to get that one to work, so work accurately. So right now it's reading empty. Sometimes it reads correctly, sometimes it doesn't. So you got two. Go by that one down there. Tack. Never really understood tax on an automatic car, but uh, nonetheless, there's your tack. Um, original radio does not work. Aftermarket radio does work. It actually sounds pretty good too. Okay, so um, temp works, battery voltage, oil pressure. Um, 25,701 is the miles on the odometer. We gave you in the showroom the miles on the tires, the miles on the motor, and the documented history of what we know. So the title reads exempt how many miles are on the actual body, who knows. Um, automatic in the floor, dash is in good shape. Forgetting anything? We did wipers, we did radio, we did turn signals. Did we do turn signals? If we didn't do turn signals, driver's side, passenger side. Good looking car. It drives nice too. Uh, again, no power steering, no power brakes, so take that into consideration um, if you haven't driven them in a long time. But uh, to me, this, this car drives really nice, so let's take it out and show you that right now. Inside our 64 Falcon, speedometer functioning, it's accurate. The uh, you know the car is there's there's some play in the wheel. You know it's no power steering. Uh, the response in the steering, however, is pretty good. Uh, same thing with the brakes. I can't show you the brakes right at the moment because I do have a uh, car behind me, so we will show it to you at the traffic light. At the very least, we'll have to slow down to make the turn, but uh, if not, stop completely for a red light. But uh, temp's good, 190, right about where we should be for a 302. The uh, car has no vibrations in it. There's no front end vibration, there's no rear end vibration, there's no engine tranny vibration or noise. The car has a nice idle to it when you're gonna stop. Red light, so we're gonna, we're gonna brake. Again, in my opinion, the car stops really nice for a non-power brake car. I mean, it you know, stops just like it's supposed to. We're just going to run through a couple gears, show you how the transmission shifts. It up to about 50, 55. The car has a real nice ride to it. Real smooth shifts, engine uh, again, you know, idles nicely. It doesn't want to stall out. It doesn't want to fall on its face when you give it uh, gas. It got to about 55. You know, I have traffic in front of me. I can't really get much faster than that. But uh, you know, car drives just like it should. No tire vibration, no pulls, no rough idle conditions, no smoke out the exhaust. 
again, the speedometer is not only functioning, but it's accurate. We're in a 45 mile an hour zone. We're doing 48, 49, 50, somewhere in there. It's got a tiny wave to it, but not much. I mean, the, uh, it's a nice car. It's a nice, inexpensive, classic car. It's, uh, you know, not everybody has it. It has a good look to it. The car has good character for being uh, manufactured in 64 with the, uh, the way that it's all set up on the outside. 386-944-9219 is our contact phone here in Daytona Beach. Hanksters.com is our website. It's where you can find all the photos of this car today along with this video presentation we are shooting for you right now. At full retail price, this car includes shipping in the lower 48 United States on an enclosed carrier. It also includes a powertrain warranty that covers engine, transmission, and rear end internal components. It is not a bumper to bumper warranty. It doesn't cover leaks. Doesn't cover brakes, doesn't cover battery starters, alternators, front end alignments, you know, any of that type of stuff. It only covers major mechanical breakdowns of your powertrain. That warranty is good at any ANC certified facility in the United States, so you'll probably take it to the same person that's working on your daily driver. Notice how nice this car's idle. Look at the, uh, the one thing the tack's good for is there's no fluctuation in that tack whatsoever. The car has a real nice idle to it, idling at the RPM it's supposed to be. Back to the warranty, it's good at any ASE certified facility in the United States. You don't have to take it to a Ford dealership, you don't have to bring it to Hangster's Hot Rods or bring it to Florida. You can probably take it to the same person that's working on your daily driver. It's a very simplistic car. No power steering, no power brakes, very simplistic motor, you know. So, uh, is the price of the car negotiable? Uh, within reason, yes it is. If we negotiate the price of the car, the warranty comes off. The warranty is good at full retail price only. Shipping also comes off. We can give you uh, the contact information for a broker who can handle the shipping for you. They can arrange to uh, transport the car on an open carrier or an enclosed carrier. We do everything enclosed, but you may want to ship open. It's a little cheaper. The car gets there a little more dirty, but, you know, that's up to you. It's your car. But uh, they can facilitate the shipping for you. They can help you find the driver, uh, get it to you, uh, wherever you might be located at. And then uh, you will need to pay the driver on delivery, cash or check. They do not accept credit card. We would love to earn your business, add you to our growing customer base, not only throughout the United States, but throughout the world. We do export these classics as well. If you are uh, watching us from a distance and you need this car imported to your country, uh, we can uh, take care of that for you as well. We can get it to wherever you might be uh, on the globe. Hangster's Hot Rods is located in Central Florida, Daytona Beach. And one last time, our website is hangsters.com. Please check us out.